Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Huge arrest made in massive plot against children of GOP congressmen as revenge for immigrant kids. This violent rhetoric from the left is starting to get out of hand. It has now been confirmed by WPTV that a man from Stewart, Florida is now behind bars after being accused of threatening violence against the children of Republican Congressman Brian Mast of Florida. Mast represents the state's 18th congressional district and has three young children. All of them are under the age of eight. Mast was an explosive ordnance disposal technician with the Army and he served in Afghanistan. In 2010 he stepped on an eyed. Both of his legs and a finger were amputated. Lawrence Wayne is now facing federal charges for the offense of communication of a threat to kidnap or injure a person, after he threatened Mast's children in response to the Trump administration's immigration policies. The criminal complaint goes on to allege that Key called Mast's Washington, D.C. office and told an intern that he would find the congressman's kids and KL them. WPTV reports. Key's social media pages show he is very politically active. He volunteers regularly for the Democratic Party of Martin County and has volunteered many hours for Planned Parenthood, according to a friend of Key's. Key is also seen in a picture speaking to Mast at an event. Friends of Key's call him a gentle soul and do not believe he would ever hurt anyone. The criminal complaint also shows Key has contacted Mast's office 478 times. He also contacted U.S. Senator Marco Rubio and U.S. Senator Bill Nelson's offices Monday. Key is being held at the St. Lucie County Jail awaiting a bond hearing. Mast's office referred any comment to the Capitol Police, however the agency did not release a statement, citing that it was an active investigation. The intern then reported the call to a supervisor and the FBI quickly arrested Key for the call. Key told the FBI he did not actually threaten to KL Mast's kids but did admit he feels the congressman should be separated from his kids if he supports President Donald Trump's immigration policies. The criminal complaint notes he admitted to saying something about Congressman Mass never seeing his kids again. The intern who answered the call said he is 150 percent certain that Key used the word KL when referring to the congressman's kids. Here is more on this via the free beacon. A man from Stewart, Florida is in jail after being accused of threatening to harm the children of Republican Rep. Brian Mast, Florida Mast, who represents the state's 18th congressional district has three young children, all under the age of eight. The arrested man, Lawrence Wayne Key, is facing federal charges for the offense of communication of a threat to kidnap or injure a person. He threatened Mast's children in response to the Trump administration's immigration policies, according to NBC affiliate WPTV. A criminal complaint alleges Key called Mast's Washington, D.C. office and told an intern he would find the congressman's kids and kill them. He continued, If you're going to separate kids at the border, I'm going to KL his kids. Don't try to find me because you won't. Criminal Complaint Against Lawrence Key by Jordan Grinnell WPEC on Scribd The intern reported the phone call to a supervisor, and the FBI arrested Key soon after the alleged call to Mast's office. Key told the FBI he did not threaten to KL Mast's kids, but said the congressman should be separated from his kids if he supports President Donald Trump's immigration policies. The criminal complaint notes he admitted to saying something about Congressman Mast never seeing his kids again. The intern who answered the call told the FBI he is 150 percent certain that Key used the word kill with reference to the kids. Key is politically active, frequently volunteering for local Democratic Party activities and Planned Parenthood. The congressman is an Army veteran who received the Bronze Star Medal and a Purple Heart for his service. While serving in Afghanistan in 2010, he lost both of his legs and a finger as a result of a night explosion. Mass maternal grandparents legally immigrated to the United States from Mexico. He recently issued a statement to a Florida newspaper regarding the administration's immigration policies. It is our duty as an American government to deal compassionately with any child from any nation just as it is the responsibility of foreign families seeking asylum in the U.S. to choose only legal means to enter our nation so they can avoid family disruption, the statement read. He added that he is confident this process will be improved. It was later confirmed that Key is very politically active by frequently volunteering at the local Democrat Party and in what seems to be the epitome of hypocrisy, Planned Parenthood who has made separating parents from their unborn children into a very lucrative art form. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.